hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you please invite your friends and let us do the good work for today there is no Allah because Allah said so this is the name of our topic and we are going to prove it and just to make it more simple this is an open challenge for Muslims to prove me wrong <laughs> in other way to prove Allah wrong because every page in the Quran proved to us that Allah is not exist I will open my Skype and we'll start our challenge for today to see if there is a single Muslim he really can prove to us from the Quran and from his book and his prophet that there is God whose name is Allah remember I am not an atheist I am a Christian but I believe that Allah is a big big fat lie even the Muslim do not know what the word Allah mean Muhammad himself did not speak to Allah hmm. he did not see Allah he did not hear Allah he did not talk to Allah so who is this Muhammad and who is this Allah however each time we speak to them about their God we notice that they are like a recording machine copy paste and they have nothing to say all of them copy paste if you are a Christian and you speak to them right away they say to you prove to us the Trinity in the speed of light but if there is a Trinity or not that not is a solution for your cult and we knew that speaking about the Trinity you are not rejecting the Trinity because you are not convinced it's just because you Allah said so so it's kind of hypocrisy not a debate when somebody jump into a debate and he is not listening as much he is just to prepare himself to throw the second question you notice when a Muslim they call me they go in the panic mood he speaks something we start talking about it right away he jumped to something else because he noticed uh oh this topic is not good for me I better change it as simple as that uh, my Skype now is on if there is any Muslim would like to call me please feel free and the challenge is very simple I will not even ask you a question we have Mr. Fahim sending me pictures I don't know what the point of those pictures Sending me a pictures for buildings and etc. Fahim, call me, man. Call me, Abdul. Uh, Fahim in Arabic means smart, extra smart, like he is the one who understands everything. How in the world somebody he is smart? He believe in Allah. The Muslims they made tons of articles about a God his name is Allah who says things which is discovered to be scientific miracles but then when we study them we find that all of them they are nothing but a bunch of lies additional proof that Islam is based on lying not on honesty now if you are a Muslim would like to prove me wrong 
please feel free who is a muslim would like to call me who is a muslim want to prove me wrong golden opportunity for you muslims to call us and prove us wrong who is the one is willing to do so few days ago someone he said to me i will let my sheikh speak to you i am his student and we noticed that speaking to a sheikh is a lot easier than speaking to a student for a very simple reason a student is just a kid he say whatever he want and nobody even counting what he say a sheikh he have to be careful about what he say because this is he knew that this is not a private conversation it's recorded and posted and many people they are listening and you notice right away that the sheikh he have no answer it's just a blind faith and not only blind it's stupid contradictions after contradictions stupidity after stupidity madness after madness and nothing there to prove to be right so when we speak about uh, science in the Quran we ask ourselves why why the Muslims even they are mentioning science in the Quran I mean is the Quran is the book of science no but this cult is like a snake it to change its skin depend on the time and the season so the season today is a season where people speak about you know science and technology and etc so Islam have to change its skin before Islam was focusing in a flying carpet so the man have an army of the chickens so the man have a flying horse so like man he have a genie who died for him Muhammad he left to heaven in, in, in a mysterious way a donkey came to him between the size of a horse and a mule you know tons of stories but suddenly the Muslims they put all of this in the side and suddenly they start saying to us that Quran is full of science and they made tons of website the sea on fire Star Trek like invisible shield as you see in the front of you I mean this is all is in the Quran my friend but if we do a little examination we will find nothing there is it true it's a collection of lies and here we go we are here to prove our point Quran and science Quran and science prove to us that Allah is a fake God absolutely there is no way that Allah is God and he say what he said in the Quran and we challenge the Muslims to call us right now and to prove us wrong who want to do who want to do so you see I'm just searching for websites speaking about Quran and science you know look how many Muslim website they have it's all over you know but is it true how truthful all of this is false false and fictions and deception oh here we go we find my book Quran and science in depth which is a book the Muslims don't like you to read who is a Muslim would like to call us please my Skype is open and here we are making a challenge what is the science of Allah is the science of Allah proving Allah to be false or it's a proving Allah to be true I say clearly that it's proving Allah to be false not only false proving the one who made the Quran to be an idiot or certify idiot as a Christian Prince he says Hmm? Quran speak about anything everything you can imagine 
and this is what the Muslim they say to us Quran is the book of science so can you Muslims accept the same way you try to convince us that Islam is from God by making Quran a book of science can you accept the same challenge to prove to you that from the same science you speak above or about is clear proof that Allah is a false God who want to do so who was the one want to do such a challenge science everywhere my friend science and by the way the Muslim they mentioned to you that there is a Muslim scientist but in fact all those scientists who they call them scientists they were apostate of Islam and most of them they were killed by Muslims but I don't care really about if there is somebody he is a scientist or not if there is a human being he is a scientist and Allah cannot be a scientist Allah cannot be God in the same time do we have any brave Muslim would like to call us Islamic astronomy Star War I like that let's see this topic Islamic astronomy and Star War guys isn't this interesting learn more I want to see what is that one here we go Islamic astronomy and Star War hmm. what is that hmm. I don't see anything now. Anything? I look like this is have nothing to do with the Quran. I thought this is a book about Quran, but look like it is just a stupid website. Let us see. Quran and modern science until now we are waiting for Muslims to call us I hope you will not be bored but what we can do look like they are not proud about the science of Allah no more look look all of this is in the Quran uh, how authentic the Quran the creation of the universe astronomy the Sun and the moon the stars and the planets the orbit the day and the night the solar apex expansion of the universe the conquest of the space uh, geology the water cycle mountains biology uh, i mean it's amazing look at this i mean this is just a start my friend all of this in the Quran. who is the brave muslim would like to call us don't make me give up hmm? As long as there is no Muslims when I call. Actually, there was a website. I'm trying to find it. It have like a better organized topic. Let me see if I can find it. Hold on. Maybe if I change it to a scientific miracle. The search. Uh, maybe this one uh, okay this one we found it finally yeah this is my favorite website actually because it put the topic for you like uh, they are lined up with icons and supposedly now we will be convinced that Allah he have science this is the challenge who is a Muslim want to choose for me any topic in the screen and my duty to prove from the topic he chose that Allah is a false God Who want to do that? Your Muslims claim that there is science in the Quran. 
Read this, my friend. Miracles of the Quran. The Quran contains scientific knowledge that could not have been known 1400 years ago. In ranges from basic arithmetic and the most advanced topic, astro garbage, astro lies. Uh, Fahim. Guys, Fahim is calling me and is playing for me a love song. Fahim, are you there? This is the guy, Fahim, who is like 55 years old. We see him in the text. He is calling me to play for me love song. I'm really convinced now that the love song you are playing for me is better than the Quran of Allah. At least it's about. <laughs> this is the one who his name is Fahim, smart, supposedly. How we want to refute us? He plays for us a love song. Why you don't play for us? Kill them wherever you find them. Hmm? Cut their fingertips. Cut their necks. Which one is more beautiful, my friend? So look at this presentation. They fabricate lies and they promote their lies. And they are assuming that you are a person who do not know and you don't speak Arabic anyway. We can fabricate the translation. We can add words. We can take off words. How you will know? We do not know. Even Muslim themselves, more than 93% of Muslims do not know Arabic. Indonesia, the biggest Islamic country in the world, nobody knows Arabic there, maybe a few teachers. Uh, Fahim, he said to me, he cannot hear me in the call. Hmm. Let us call him again. Answer, Fahim. Yes, Mr. Fahim. Okay, one more time. One more time you play music for me, I will ban you. Are you there? Yes. Okay, get lost. What a potato. He's doing shaky, shaky. Look at his kid, you know, his picture. He's a picture of an old man. I mean, like this guy in the age of my grandfather. And look what he's doing. Now, who is the Muslim would like to call us and tell us if this is true, what we have in the screen? Challenge to you. Choose the topic which is in the screen, any one of them, and we will prove Islam to be false. Which one? Hmm? Animal language? MashaAllah. The Quran speak about animal language. Yeah, let us talk about animal language in the Quran. <clears throat> and look at this uh, art. I mean, look at this burn. MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. For centuries, Native American have relied on so-called bird language to learn the wear boots of the people and other animals that would otherwise remain invisible to human eye. First of all, American Indian and their belief about uh, you know like uh, you know spiritual and the like eagle and this is a fiction, stupid like Islam too. That's not true. However, let us continue. Hmm. 
chorus on birds they are able to describe to what to, to spear how birds communicate and how I mean everybody knows that there is uh, all creatures communicate obviously I mean this is not a genius okay but look what Muhammad in the Quran he says I told you the miracles they claim to have it is a proof that Islam is a damaged cult not only it's a cult it's a damaged one read carefully and I'm so happy that they are the ones quoting that for us 1400 years ago the Quran said that the birds have their own language the Quran does not only say that the Quran make a mistake look at this and Solomon uh, he succeeded David he said oh people we were taught the language of the birds and we were given for everything this indeed really blessing but hold on so the man is given the language of the bird that's mean he speak the language of the bird so if we ask to man to speak to the chicken he will say this and then the chicken will answer him okay but my friend, this is not what happened. The Quran speak that the bird spoke to Suleiman in Arabic. Unless you are saying to me, Allah, he translated into Arabic. In chapter 27, verse number 20 it says that Suleiman he checked over his chickens and his birds <clears throat> and specifically in this case a bird is called a hubu or a hoodhood in Arabic so he checked the birds and he said if I he don't give me he found him absent if you don't give me a reason why he's absent I'm going to make him a barbecue I'm going to slaughter him unless he give me a clear reason why he was away hmm. then the bird he came back and he said to him I found a woman ruling over them okay in which language the bird he spoke to Suleiman if Suleiman was speaking to the bird in the language of the birds, so why we see it in Arabic? Why Allah did not say bak, 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 or whatever the bird language is? But as you see, they are speaking a classical Arabic. However, here the Muslims they hide the beginning of the story because the beginning of the story proved to us Islam to be false. Why? If you go a little bit, you will see. The same verse they are quoting for us that Suleiman he was taught the language of the birds remember this is what they have in their article chapter 27 verse number 16 all right so Suleiman he was at the inheritance of David and he was taught the language of the birds and then we find that Suleiman is understanding the ant talking, not the birds talking. Read with me. <clears throat> and his host were mastered to Suleiman, jinn and men and birds. And this is absolutely science. So Suleiman have an army contained brigades of genie, brigade of a human, and brigade of a chicken and ducks and etc all kinds of birds you know and actually this has happened always to us in the Middle East this is why we always win the war against Israel the Israeli they have f-16 we have a chicken and that's very logical you know uh, so Suleiman and this is very proven to be scientific Suleiman in the verse before it, he says we've been taught the language of the birds but the verses after he says he heard the ant speak okay hold on how Allah he taught him the language of the birds, but yet he understand the ants. 
look like Allah he sent him to the wrong classroom or maybe Allah made a mistake he should say we taught him the language of the birds and the ants as I know ants are not birds as I know secondly ants don't talk and look here at the fiction of the Quran till when till when he they came on the valley of the ants and by the way the value of ants like I think I have a value of my of ants in my backyard value of the ants what does that mean the United States of, of ants only ants live there so until they arrive to the value of the ants and they enter their dueling places enter their dueling places mm. ants one of the ants she said one of the ant she said look carefully i'm not the one who's saying that she said ants enter your dwelling places last solomon and his host crush you i want you to translate for me the word solomon in the language of the ants first of all ants are deaf and mute they don't hear and they don't talk they communicate yes but by vibration or chemical so how in the world this and Suleiman he heard her speech hmm? read carefully but he smiled laughing at its words actually in Arabic it says which means her speech if you change the translation, you will find right away that this translation is not too much accurate, as usual, you know. This is who? This is Arbury. Oh, who is this guy? Hmm. Let's change. Okay, which one? Which one, guys, you want? Which translation? Who Muslims? Which translation you like? You are my favorite customers. Which which translation? Just tell me in the text in the chat, and I will I will choose the translation you like. Which one? Which one? Any Muslim want to tell me which one his favorite? You see, they have we have many. Which one you like? Yusuf Ali. Let us go to Yusuf Ali. As you know, customers come first. At length, when they came to the lowly valley of ants, and one of the ants, and look here, look how the details actually, and this is true. In Arabic, it says, "Qalat namlatun," an ant said, one ant, "O oh, ye ants, get into your habitations, lest Solomon and his host crush you. I'm willing to pay ten dollars if a Muslim can tell me. I cannot pay more. Sorry." If a Muslim can tell me how the ant even she knew the name of Solomon. You see, I understand the ant communicate. I understand the ant they talk to each other. But what I cannot understand how the ant she knew that this guy, his name is Solomon. So imagine a Christian prince is going in the valley. And then a bunch of ants say, hide. Otherwise, a Christian prince is going to crush you. I mean, come on, let it go. This is a story we find it in the Legion of the Jews. You can go and download the book; it's for free, actually, from the internet. Because I think it's an old, more than one hundred year uh, old, written. It's a Legion of the Jews. In their fiction stories, the Jews, they a sort of man. He saw an ant. He put the ant in his hand, and the ant talk and etc. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yes. Hello. Hello. Yes. So, uh, could you not say that uh, Solomon? Uh, I mean, uh, the ants knew of Solomon because uh, he communicated with the ants. Could I what? So after that, they would know his name. Well, you see, do you do you read your Quran? Do you know how to read or not? No, not in Arabic. Mm, what about English? Yes. Okay, it says he arrived and then he heard the ant saying so the first conversation was the ant talking by itself The Suleiman did not even talk to her So what do you mean they communicate and like you know, are you saying to me that the ant she said to him? Hey, what's your name? 
and then Suleiman my name he said my name is Suleiman it doesn't happen as you see the story in front of you same time your God he taught Suleiman the language of the birds how Suleiman he understand the language of the ants Wait, sorry what uh, what does it uh, what does it say that the ants uh, do not speak with Solomon well it says here that when he arrived to the valley with his army of a chicken and birds and etc and genie and the human one mm -hmm. of the ants she said to the other ant she did not speak to Suleiman the ant speaking to the ants and she said to them ants get into your habitation lest Solomon and his host crush you Mm. So she did not talk to Solomon. How she knew his name? Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Additional to that. Ants don't talk. You will see here. Yes, that's a vibration. Yeah, I heard you. Yes. Yeah. Chris, you see here the Quran is very clear. He says, so he smiled, amused at her speech. It's a speech. When we say speech, Arabic is clear. That means she talks. Yeah, but you can interpret that as a because maybe language kind of the it doesn't have to be a, like human language. When he says my friend, because it's no problem. Text, so my problem, my friend, my, my, no problem. But the language, Arabic language, is rich language. So we have tons of words. To replace that word will will make it accurate. This is Allah speaking. Supposedly, he should not use a stupid word like this because I can say. And they communicated together. Hmm? Okay, but not speech. The second you say speech, it means she said that with her mouth. All right. If an ant touching the the the, the bum of an ant and they are vibrating on top of each other, that is not a speech. That is a communication. If an ant she leave a chemical in the in the in the way, that is not a speech. That is a communication. Ants yes, are even for uh, the audience of the time. Uh, it would be easier if uh, no, my friend. It you said, see, said speech. When Muslim they say this is science. Obviously, this is not an audience of the time. This is an audience for all time. We're talking about science. Is any the Muslim who says to us, and you are a Muslim, that this is scientific miracle discovery, the language of the birds? So either you make it right, or you don't say anything, and then you will see here. <coughs> That Suleiman, after he heard her speech, uh, he smiled, amused by her speech. But look at this. Suleiman, he said, one of the ants she spoke. I mean, can you imagine how many ants are there? He heard only one ant. Why? His reception is not working. Only one ant. Why? She was in his shoulder, maybe? She was next to his ear? So the whole story is a funny story taken from the Jewish legion. And Muhammad adopted, he put it in his Quran and he claimed that this is from God. Okay, okay, but yeah, okay, but going back to the uh, language used, right, in the verse, hmm. don't you, uh, don't I think it's because uh, it would be, they would doubt, they, they did not have knowledge of how ants communicated in the first place. So that is why I think they, he's, uh, the word speech is used. No, my friend, no problem. We can use many words which is replacing the same the word call it you know and it's still going to the same business and that will make it very accurate and then we will say but in order for Suleiman to understand what she said you see in here it says uh, too bad you don't speak Arabic okay if you see if you see with me here it says when he says uh, when she said that Suleiman he heard the end so in order to hear the ant, the ant have to talk, but the ant are deaf, they are mute. So it is not for Suleiman to understand the language, he have to vibrate with them. Do you understand me, my friend? Mm. If the ant is, is communicating by vibration, the ant have to touch Suleiman and have to vibrate. And this is the language of the of the of the ants. Or Suleiman, he have to smell the chemical. And this is the language of the birds but as you see it says her speech are you getting my point yeah 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 you're right yeah it's hmm. it's, it's it's not right yeah it's okay basically. so quran is false book 
So the same science the Muslim they say to us proving Allah to be right is the same science proved to us Islam to be a fiction stories mad crazy same time do you see here uh, do you really believe that Suleiman he have an army of birds and genie and a human <laughs> no, no no what do you mean no you're a Muslim come on don't say that Allah is watching you now no to be honest I uh... I left, I left Islam. I don't believe in it. Oh, you left Islam already? Yeah, I don't I don't believe in it anymore. Oh, why well, you left Islam, my friend? Don't you want to get the versions? Yeah, it makes no sense, to be honest. Make no sense? Come on, this is make sense. I saw an army of a chicken one day in cartoon. There was, <laughs> there's a, was a general chicken rooster, and he have like four stars in his, uh, you know, in, in, in like in his head. This is why rooster have actually this thing in the top of his head because he's a Roman general, you know. So why you left Islam? Why? Mm. Well, because um, first of all, I don't like how uh, we like Muslims in general. They don't speak about anything that about the contradictions in the Quran. Mm. And whenever those come up, they they say some BS arguments to cover it, which I don't really, uh, I don't really like it. And so when I did my own research, when I was looking at your videos, I could, I saw it more clearly. So that's why, yeah, that's why I left. So my videos help you? Uh, yeah, they help, yeah. But now, do you know how much you are losing, my friend? First of all, you will not get the versions, who they have one mile ass. Oh, I know, it's, uh, it's a big loss. That sucks. That sucks, my friend. You see what I'm thinking? You know, well, sometimes I say to myself, let me trick all people to leave Islam, and then I will convert to Islam so I can get all those asses in heaven. You know what I mean? <laughs> like all of you, you leave Islam, and then Allah, he have no believers except me, so he have to give me all those women with their big asses, and Christian Prince, you are the only Muslim here, so take them all. Bring my truck, put them in the truck, and take them, and like, beam boom. I mean, this is the most stupid religion, we have people believe in the most crazy cult and yet they have the courage to say Islam have science how dare you any Muslim he is listening would like to join us in the conversation here we go you have Muslim brother of you who decide to leave Islam and he said it clearly Quran does not make sense it's stupid you know and look after that Suleiman, he checked the bird. Hmm? Mm, yes. And then when he checked the bird, he found, he said, where is the hoopoo? I mean, hold on, hold on. This is a king who have a kingdom. He have tens of thousands of soldiers. And now there's a, there's a bird is missing and he noticed. I mean, this guy, his computer is working. Oh, I think he have a chips and scanning system. How he noticed <laughs> that the guy is missing? You know what I mean? <laughs> if you have an army of birds, how in the world he noticed that this bird is missing? So look at this. The Muslim tomorrow they will come to us and they will say, Allah gave him chips and scanning system. Every employee have to scan it. It is under his wing. Just wait, it's coming. They will say it is there. Hmm? So now the bird is missing. And Suleiman is saying, where is the bird? If he is not giving me a good excuse, I'm going to slaughter him. Oh boy. But the hoop hoop tried not far, tarried not far, and uh, came up and said, I have composed traitor, traitory, and which thou has not composed, and I have come uh, to thee uh, uh, from uh, Saba." With the tied in through what the heck this guy was a spy this is james bond of islam <laughs> james bond 007 agent www 0007 he was spying for uh, uh, uh suleiman in a private mission and the funny king he is the last one to know so when he came back, he said to him, my king, I was spying for you and I was looking for women. And what? What kind of woman I was looking for? A woman, she have no hair on her legs. 
mashallah because yeah, at that exactly. time at that time by the way all women they are very hairy you know even my grandmother you know she told me that uh, women in her time they used to look like a bear mm -hmm. we are Middle Eastern we are very hairy now look at this and I found the women ruling over them and provided them with every request and she has a magnificent magnificent throne now this is a throne uh, only Allah knows how many how many floor and etc I mean it's a big cra crazy story and guys when Suleiman he decide to go you do you know my friend how Suleiman he go there do you no. know you don't know no oh my friend I mean you are missing a lot okay what is the biggest airplane ever you see uh, to, to be honest I don't know about the airplanes mm, you are an Arab like me we, we we hijack them we do not know about them all right all right uh, in the Quran it says chapter 34 verse number 12 and to Solomon, the wind is morning course was a month journey. What does that mean? <laughs> That's mean that Allah He gave a flying carpet to Solomon. I mean, look at this science. Boeing, Boeing seven seven, whatever. I mean, all this garbage. This is a real airplane. No fuel. Go green, and it's using the wind. And then. If you go and read the interpretation of the Abdul, let us show you the interpretation. Chapter 34, verse number 12. Mm. And by the way, the interpretation in Arabic is not the same as in English. The Muslim, they fabricate, they cut a lot of from the Arabic because it's stupid in Arabic. So they try to make it look nicer in English. So if we go here, this is Ibn Kathir. You can see my screen, right? Yes, yes. Okay, that's good. Hmm. What is that? What happened? <clears throat> the page over. Let us go to 14. What is that? Those people are flooding their page with uh, with ad. Where is the? They took it off. What happened, guys? The the thing is gone. I mean, I it, they took it off. I just read it just a week ago. There is no way. Hold on. They took it off. They took it off from the website the flying carpet guys. Do you remember how many videos we did? They took it off. It's gone The explanation about the flying carpet it is gone They took out the uh, passage yeah, they took the interpretation We I have a thousand video from this website like this is not the first time we open it and read here They took it off. Let us see a different uh, website for Ibn Kathir just to get them busted. Hold on. <laughs> I'm sure somebody communicated them and says, look what the Christian Prince is doing. I mean, come on. This is horrible. Right? This is horrible, my friend. Take it off. What are you doing? Okay. Let us see. Finding different website. Hmm. All right. I found a different website. Let us choose this one.
and we subjugated to Suleiman the wind its morning was a month journey and it was afternoon journey and we caused the front of Qatar flow him and there was jinn just work in front of them and leave the Lord I mean what is that what is the thing still this one here where, where is the uh, let's see okay hey, maybe here explain more and to win to them and he would oh, okay here we go you go guys do you see it in that website they took it off I don't know how clear it is for you is it clear for you my friend in the screen uh, yes I can see yes you can read the text okay it says here uh, so he subjugated the wind to him so that it would carry his carpet one way for a month and then back again the next month al hassan al-basri said he set out from damascus in the morning and landed in istikhar when he ate a meal like look how fast this carpet all right um so simply they took it off from that website trying to hide the, the funny the stupidity and they decide to take it off because this is this is really stupid people are laughing at us so let us hide it and by the way even here is not saying the truth yet if we go to Arabic I guarantee you that a dot of things is missing but look the science of Islam let me make yes. it bigger so you guys can read it better I mean do you see the flying carpet flying one carpet so it would, would carry his carpet and then let us see if here they are mentioning that that the carpet can carry 600,000 chairs how many 600,000 chairs but I don't know if we will find that here hmm So here he fly to the to Yemen. I mean, look, the story all is 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 full of uh, funny things. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't mention anything about the chairs. So still, those people are lying too, because it should say that he have uh, uh, six hundred thousand shares. All the equipment of his army is carried in the top of the. Uh, of the carpet I just see here mm. yeah look like it's gone but anyway why did not mention that in the in the science website what do you think why they are hiding this flying carpet which uh, you know huge and mass size well the they have to hide it if they don't want to look, make make people uh, let people uh, see. Okay, let me tell you what will happen. If one day, scientists discover that there was a flying carpet, the Muslim will put this story all over. <laughs> yeah, they they probably will. Yes. Oh no, properly I guarantee you, they are waiting for it to happen. If it happens suddenly, this is about science. As long as it is not is a stupid idea, so then what we do. We hide the idea, otherwise people will laugh at us. You know. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, my friend, I will I will hang up on you. Thank you for calling me to give a chance for other Muslims to call us, and I'm happy for you that you left Islam. Did you accept Christianity or not yet? Um. No, no, no. I haven't because I'm looking at. Okay. I don't know this. I'm not too sure about uh, Christianity, but. Well, keep listening. If you have a questions, I will be happy to help you. Okay. All right, Thank my friend. Thank you. you. You're welcome. Do we have any Muslim? Uh, somebody found it for me. Is it from the same website? So how come we could not find it? Where? I don't see the flying carpet. Where's the flying carpet? 
you send me this link this is a link I have it open there's no flying carpet there well anyway okay we got them busted we got them busted so they say to us that Islam is a religion of science it take us five minutes to discover that Islam is the most silly stupid cult if the stories in it is not even good for kids in bedtime who is a Muslim really believe that Suleiman he has a flying carpet By the way, guys, this is a true story. My grandfather, he used to have one. And we used to go and take, uh, we, we, we eat hummus in China, and then we eat uh, hummus in uh, Cairo. You know, like two hours trip. It's a very nice flying carpet, and not only that, you will never get hot. Why? Because the bird, they fly in the top of us, and they keep us in the shade, as they said in the story of Suleiman. Hmm? True story. Let us go to let us go to the Arabic version of it. Hmm. Which one we should go? Ibn Kathir. Let's see Ibn Kathir in Arabic. Let us see the difference between Ibn Kathir in Arabic and Ibn Kathir in English. <coughs> Okay, look guys, all of this is not in, in, in the English one. You see all of this, let, let me read for you. Allah, he mentioned how Suleiman, he died. And how Allah make the, his, his kingdom people uh, die, uh, like the death uh, blind, which means they cannot see that he's, he's dead, but they cannot see that he's blind, they cannot notice. Especially to the genie. And he was standing holding his stick this is science the guy he died and nobody noticed that he is dead so his ministers the genie the army leaders the bird the chicken they come in they get out and nobody notice oh hold on you don't see the screen okay i think this is a genie in the ball he did that to me all right you see it now this is ibn kathir in arabic you know what i will do this i am going to open google translation just to show you how in English we don't see that this is the same page but anyway let us see here first I will read for you what is in red when the Prophet Suleiman he pray he right away he say a tree a growing in front of him and he said to her, to the tree, what's your name? And she say, Susu. For sure doesn't say Susu there. It says, she said, etc. I mean, have you ever heard of this? So the man, he see a tree, and the tree, he asked her, what's your name? This is science. And she says, etc. And then he says to her, and what is the reason for you to be exist? Hmm? She said, uh, uh, you know like what is the purpose of you what is the what is the reason she said well uh, you know if you if you put me in the ground I am in the ground and if you want me uh, you know you want to use me to write with me like you know to make me like a stick to write the ink with you can write me with I mean this is the pen here we go and one day when he was praying he found a tree between his hand he asked her, what's your name? She said, al Kharub. This is the name of the tree. Come on, don't discuss with me. This is politics. We cannot discuss that. Qal, he said to her, and why you are for? She said, to destroy this house. If, if, if. And so the man said to her, uh, uh, what about what about, uh, uh, what about my death? Do the, do, do the genie they knew my death? Hmm? Uh, you know, like uh, or the human being or the genie, the, the argument to do so. So, sorry, man, he decided to make a stick from this tree. 
a staff and he stand on it and he was dead and nobody noticed that he is dead because of that tree stick or the branch from the tree until one day the termite they ate this stick and he fell down you know he fell down and actually I, I believe I saw that in that page there hold on let us see Where is the story here? It's gone too. Hmm. Look like it's gone. Hmm. It's gone. I don't know. Let's, let me switch to be sure. Maybe here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we found it, this one. Okay. Allah tell us how Suleiman, peace upon him, he died, and how Allah cancelled his death from the jinn, which means the genie they could not notice that he's dead. This is a true story, by the way. We Arab, we can do that. You cannot do that. Arab or Jews, we can do that. Only us. So the genies, or he died, and nobody noticed why? Because he was leaning in his stick. Some they say 40 days, some they say six months, some they say for four years. I mean, it's obviously makes sense. I mean, you are dead standing in your stick, nobody would notice. Hmm? Actually, I told you before, I'm planning to start my broadcast and I will stand on my stick and I will die. And all the Muslims, they will be calling me in Skype, but they do not know I am dead. I will open the camera too. Because why? Because I'm leaning in my stick. And then after a year the termite because they were eating his stick so the man he fell down i mean this is a very scientific story all of us we knew that termite they eat a stick hmm? especially lips stick ask the girls you say to them how the lips stick is over for so fast she said the termite ate them not my lips true story Do we have any Abdul? Hmm? Who is Abdul is convinced with this? So you say to me that in this chapter, Allah, he spoke about the language of the birds and this is a scientific discovery. What do you mean some they believe this? Uh, 1.4 billion Abdul, they believe in that, including Zakir Naik himself. Uh, Dr. Zakir Naik uh, in the Quran it says that there is a stick and Suleiman he was dead and nobody noticed that he is dead First of all, I know who is the one who made this argument and his name is the and that guy is an officially a liar The Quran doesn't say that the Quran Allah said that he laid in his stick and this is thick in the very special stick from a tree it's called Al-Khadub and this is three is not exist today. And this is why it took them for a long time for the termite to eat it. And all of us knew that the termite they have a special diet. They like to eat wood. If you would the termite in a plastic, they don't eat plastic. If you give them shish kebab, they don't eat kebab. Even hummus, they don't eat hummus. They eat wood. And this is very scientific. Uh, but how he died standing all this time and did not fell down. I mean, so what if I'm holding a stick? Still, I will be standing. Actually, this is the proven to be accurate. As an example, if you go to the middle square in New York, you will find the king, or even in France, you will find the king of a Roman, and he's holding a stick, and that is made since the 15th century, and until now he's there. Explain to me that. Uh, but that is a statue, is not a human being. It is exactly the same. The only difference is the need of the truth. In that case, prophet of blood, yes, this is true, but it's still he is very strong because he's a prophet. And this is absolutely proven to be scientifically correct. Uh, Zakir Naik, did you make a study about this? I mean, did you make a book about it? I am thinking actually to make a book about it. Just to refute the guy who named the Christian prince. And he's a liar. And don't talk to him. My wife, she left Islam because of him your wife she left Islam because of him I mean 
almost almost but thanks to Allah he showed her his stick and she decided not to leave thank you very much I mean this is science who is a Muslim wanna call us hmm Anyone who can deny this? This is absolutely from God. When I say Allah proved to me that He doesn't exist, I'm not lying. Here we go. Allah proved to me that He's a lie. It's a lie. What genie? The genie they die, they die for Suleiman. Nothing informed the genie about his death except the little worm in the earth. What the heck? How this happened? I am really disappointed. And why Allah did not spray the stick with some spray so the termite will not be eaten? You never heard of something called a treated wood? Treat the wood. And that said, Suleiman will stay until now. We go and visit him, shake hands with him, take selfie with him. Hmm? This is a true story. I mean, even Mr. Bean did not come with this. And you are telling me Allah does not exist? If we say Mr. Bean versus Allah, who is going to win? Who is more? Who is the idiot of the village will be? And you are making articles about science in the Quran? No, our book we have it translated to the Malay language is going to be out soon, but we have difficulty to organize the the file. Soon is going to be out because we want it because most of the people they will have it as an e uh, can a Kindle book. You know, we wanted the text in Arabic to come accurate, so we make it as pictures because Kindle always miss up the Arabic font for some reason. Now, who's a Muslim wanna call me? Prove me wrong. Hmm? Anyone? So you have to admit that all what you say to us about science and the Quran is a lie. Some they are saying they want to call my friend. I want Muslims only to call me, please. Any Muslim. You see, I'm giving you an opportunity. To prove me wrong, I say clearly that the Quran is the best way to prove Allah is a false God, is not exist. Let us go to the Muslim scientific website. Shall we? All those things in front of us approve Islam to be false. Even though the Muslims, they fabricate the translation and they try to make it look or sound something totally different. As an example, what is that? Is that fingerprint? Fingerprint in the Quran? There is fingerprint in the Quran. I mean, we are really in trouble. In the Quran. Now, if you discover that this is true, how many of you will convert to Islam? Hmm? In the Quran, there's fingerprint. The Quran says fingerprint. Okay. I am afraid actually to click in it because what if this is true? Let me let me ask Jibril. Jibril, click, don't click, click, don't click, click, don't click. 
click don't click Jibreel said to me don't click and as long as he said don't click I have to click nope no choice mean fingerprint in the Quran okay fingerprint are unique to each individual mm hmm we all have fingerprints oh come on my cats doesn't however they are unique even identical twins have different fingerprint however nobody know this 1400 years ago here we go again the same drama Mm. 1400 years ago mm. okay and this is in the Quran are you sure are you sure yeah, let's read but it was mentioned in the Quran that on the resurrection day Allah will create a human with all details even their finger tips because hold on hold on what fingertips have to do with fingerprint you idiot do you even speak English how fingertips became fingerprint let us go to the Quran and get them busted shall we mm hmm The Quran speak about Allah saying that in the judgment day Allah will put the bones of a human being together even the small one like his fingertips have nothing to do with the flesh of a fingerprint read carefully here the translation is not really accurate let's change different translation just to show you I mean what we will lose Arbery Arbery let us see Ahmed Ali. Hmm. Finger tips. Which translation Muslims you like me to show you? Hali Khan? Hmm. Okay. Now, if we use their own, even their own translation, if we say fingertips, and we search in Google for fingertips. Is that a fingerprint? Let us see. Uh, the tip of the finger. Let us see. Uh, finger tips meaning. Items at one fingertips close hand easily immediately available blah 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 Anyway, just to get them busted Let us go to the Quran and see what this is mean from the Quran and from the interpretation of the scholars chapter 75 verse number four And we go to English this time Remember, we are quoting the same verse as you see, 75.4. Okay? And we will show it to you on the screen. Is it really about the skin or this is about the bones? All right. Yes, indeed, we shall assemble them. We are able, in addition to assembling them, reshape even his finger, that is to say, to restore their bones. Why? Just as they had been, despite their smallest, so how much more, so we are able to restore longer ones. <laughs> so, the bones became in the Islamic scientific website 
fingerprint. In Arabic, binan, binanahu is the finger, and as you see, it is the finger bones, as the scholar of Islam says. Let us change the trans scholar. Maybe the scholar is a donkey. Maybe he do not know Arabic. Maybe. Let us see the cousin of Muhammad. Maybe, maybe the cousin of Muhammad he will say something else. Hmm? Yes, verily, I am capable of doing so. Yeah, we are able to restore his every very finger, and we are able to gather his fingers. Hmm? And here he says, So, how is it we cannot restore his bones? So, this is about bones. Not about fingerprint liars. This is about the judgment day. Allah supposed they will pick the bones together. But as long as we mention this chapter, what about we read the rest of this chapter? Oh, we have some Muslim is going crazy. I think I know this guy. Let us give him a chance to talk. This is the guy who make the voice of a goat always. Yes, Abdul. Let us, let us bust you. Hmm. Hmm. Go ahead. What is, what is the word for finger there in that verse that you read? What is the word? What is the word? Fingertips. Fingertips, yeah. Fingertips. This is the yes, translation go, in Arabic. It doesn't to, say fingertips, go, it says, Go to verse 4. Okay, verse 4. Hmm. Uh, go there and, okay. and read the last the last word. What was it? Hmm. What, what, it was says, the word? what it says, his fingers, his fingers. Hmm. Okay, hmm. do you want me to get your busted fast or slow? No, 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 no. You, I'm not done. Wait, hmm. so you say this is not about fingers. No, this is about the bones of the fingers. What you just said now when I ask you, is it what was the word you say finger? Yeah, this is the fingertips, the, the, the end, the end of the, 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 you know, the hand have the tips, which always the, the top of the fingers, the smallest okay, bones. Go, go to go to chapter 8, verse 12. Okay, why you want to read the verse before it? What? Why you don't want to read the verse before it? Read the verse before it, no problem. Okay, read it. You read it for me. You know, you know, uh, you you are a better reader than me. No, uh, it says don't don't he you mm -hmm. who is who is a disbeliever, don't you think we can we can t uh, create back your bones? Mm -hmm. So it says this is about bones. In that, in and that not way, about to create back his bones. Don't lie. It says assemble back his bones. So this is about putting back the bones. So your God, Allah, He got you busted. In that verse, it's about bones. No, not in no. Verse. He confirmed. He says yes, yes. We are able to put it together. Read it. Don't don't fool yourself. This is embarrassing. Yes, this yes. We are bones. able to put it together. He was talking about the bones. Yes. And the next the, verse. Yes. Okay. Yes. We are able to put it together. Oh yes. So why you are lying? It says there yes. in the Quran. This is about bones. These fingers. Why you lie? Yes, the the bones of his fingers. Even he's saying, even we are able to put his finger bones. This is what it's about. It says, does a man disbelieve that thing that we shall not assemble his bones? Yes, yes, we are able to put together imperfect. Put it together. Put what? Put the bones. Allah got you busted, yes, my friend. Banana. What is banana? Banana? Banana is yeah. ban is a, a as I know is a banana. What banana? Not banana. Banana. Who you idiot? But not banana. In, in, in Bina Arabic, banana. Banana. Who? Not banana. Uh, mm. uh, okay. What is it? What is it? Okay. You you are lying now again. What is it? Go to chapter eight, verse twelve. <laughs> why you why you don't want to read the verse before it? Isn't it saying he I'm going to assemble his bones? Yes or no? Eight, no. Yes or no? Okay. When Allah hold on, hold on. When Allah he said yes. When Allah he said hold on, hold on, Abdul Potato. You call me to get me busted. You you uh, even your God cannot even dare to do that. When he said yes, hold on, hold on, hold on. When he said, when he, when he said, when he said yes, you know that's why you are so scared. That's why you never would debate with someone because the ball is in your yard, 
and you are you are a coward. <laughs> Abdul, okay, let me ask you. Go to chapter eight, verse twelve. If you are a man, go there. Okay, we will go there. We, we, where you want to jump? Let's finish this one. Go, go okay, there. hold on, hold on. Why your scholars say go that this is? Hold on, hold on. Abdul, man. Abdul. Why your scholars? Okay, hold on. Let me let me get you busted even better. Let me ask you. Why why your scholars? Why your scholars? They are saying this is about his bones. Can you explain that to me? Why you why you hang up, but potato? Even your scholars they say that this is about his bones. So here he says, yes. Aren't we going to assemble his bones? Allah answered himself. He said, yes. Nikki, yes, absolutely, yes. We are going to assemble his bones and we will put it together in a perfect order the tips of his fingers. So, Abdul, your God, Allah, He got you busted. You are blind, you do not know how to read, you don't know how to, you don't see. You Muslims are blind, liars, and not only that, every Muslim scholar in the world agree that this is about the bones. This is about the bones. This is about the bones. This is this is this is this is about the bones. <laughs> I'm going to get you busted. Are you sure? Yes, I'm going to get you busted now. Please, please, can be can you be merciful on me? I sorry, I cannot. I have to get you busted. Who is next? Hmm. Who's next? The potato he hang up. Yes, Abdul. What happened? Why don't you go to chapter eight, verse twelve? Why, why are you? So we will go. Who? We have time. I'm asking okay. you. Why? Uh, why? Okay, hold on. We will go. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. I. I promise you. You said to me, chapter what? Chapter eight. Okay. Verse 12 uh, read the last word. What okay, we will I I promise you. Okay. I promise you guys in the front of everybody Hold on hold on Everybody everybody I promise you I promise you that we will go there I, I promise now why the scholars agree that this is about bones The, the other scholar that you read the other scholar he never say it was about bones. which scholar like which one did not which, which one did not agree Read again you go there, go there. Which one? Which side. one? Which one? Here we go. He says bones. Okay. 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 Huh? Here we go. It says bones. Go there in that site. In yes, uh, it is there. It says read bones. Do you see it? This is Tafsir Ibn Abbas. Ah, the, uh, and he is speaking wait. about the same as the hoof of the camel. You see it? Which one it you want? It's why listen. Why are you why are you reading it wrong? It says you are able to gather his fingers, no mm. bones is talking about. Okay, fingers. okay, the bones of the fingers, we will gather them together. I bust you, you are a big fan. You are busting me, everybody is laughing, here we go, it's in the front of us, it says, even he is saying that they are, I am capable of doing it, doing it what? Let us go to the verse before it, here we go, everybody will laugh at you. Hmm? Verse number three. We are capable to doing it, doing it, did you see that the one, did, did you see the, did you see doing it? Did you see doing it? Let us see. Things the man does not believe that we, you know, that we can restore his bones, that we shall not assemble his bones, we are, and that we are not able to gather his bones and they scatter, even if they are scattered. And verse number four, verse, we are capable of doing it. Doing what? Restoring the bones. Yes, verily, I am capable of doing so. Doing what? Verse number three says, bones. And here he is explaining more and he says yes this is about the bones so stop lying now name for me one scholar agree with you that this is about fingerprint not bones it says there are to able gather his fingers why are you a big liar abdul why his I finger bones his liar. finger bones you are a you are a potato like your prophet you as usual why you, why you okay okay, okay hold on hold on okay okay guys he said he said to me he want me to go to chapter 8 verse number 12 is that correct Yes, and go read the last, last, last word there for fingers. What okay, hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. You are the one who chooses it. I will make you cry. Are you sure you want me to show this one? What? what are you sure? Are you sure? 
Are you, are you sure? Okay, let's read together and love. Here we go. Your God, Allah, He's ordering you to cut their finger print or their fingers. You are the one who chose this one for me, and you are the one proved to me that you are an idiot of fishery. Your God is ordering you to cut their fingers. How you can act, how you can cut their fingerprint? You 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 skip it. Cut their fingers. Cut their fingertips. Do you read it? Now it's now it's fingers, huh? Now it's fingers. No, I said finger from the beginning. This is cut, cut, cutting the fingers, the whole finger. But Allah is speaking about putting the bones. So here you see, here you see, He is saying cutting the fingerprint or cutting all the fingers. Do you see it? Everybody see now how big liar you go now and worship your God who sleeps and rest and drinks and shit. <laughs> and here we notice, guys. Go. I just got you wanna you wanna call names. Here you notice how filthy the God of Islam too. He killed the people, yet he want Muslims after they kill them to cut their fingers. Read with me carefully. And companions, and then submit the neck, cut their necks. And then what? And they cut their fingers. What kind of God? He ordered them to cut the fingers. If this is about fingertips, that would be funny if it is only about fingerprint. But the fact he's talking about cutting their fingers. So this is a proof that this is a finger from the beginning. I said from the beginning, this is a finger, the whole finger. Allah will assemble the whole fingers. The whole point is the Muslim saying that this is the fingerprint. We are saying this is the fingers. And the fingertips, banana, can be mentioned, either the whole finger or even the tip, the top of it. But it's about the bones, and as you see, cut their fingers. And you are the one who chose this verse, and this verse proved to us that Muhammad is a coward, seeking torture even to the dead one. They are dead. They cut their necks. Why you want to cut their fingers? Either you have to say here that they are cutting their fingers to torture them before they kill them or you say to me they are cutting their neck and then after that they are enjoying their time cutting their fingers. What a filthy God. And imagine he is the one who said to me read this one. Oh, well, thank you. You just expose your God again. We have uh, uh, Ahmadu Bakri. How are you Bakri? Hello? 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 Okay, Bakri, how are Hello. you? I hear you. Hello. How are you? I'm all right. I want you to promise me something before we start talking. You will not shout oh, screen sure. and we will let me let me talk. Me and you, we can talk. Do you promise? Yes. A promise of a man? Yes. Okay. <laughs> what do you want to say to us? So, did you see my topic? Well, I say no. there's no Allah and the science of the Quran proved that Allah does not exist. What do you say? There is no Allah who created human beings according to Islam. Who created us according to Islam? Who? <laughs> who? I'm asking you, you say it's Allah. Okay, what is the proof it's that he did? Okay, if, if Allah is the one who created the human being, hold on. If Allah is the one who created the human being, how he do not know how a human being is created? Do you have evidence to prove that he didn't know that? Okay, here we go. It's, yeah, it's in the front of us. The Quran in chapter 86, verse numbers uh, uh, 6 and 7 says that the sperm of the man is coming from the backbone and the sperm of the woman is coming from her ribs. How God, he says such a thing, and he is the one who created the human being. Okay, let me ask you this question. Mm. Uh, Christian priest, mm. do you have evidence to prove that it is not from the back of the... Uh, the backbones and the ribs you have evidence to prove that yeah all, doubt. yeah all scientists they say that 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 the sperm coming from the testicles not from the bones of the backbone do you know the backbone do you know which one is the backbone of a human being is the last tiny bone in his spine this is where your prophet saying this is where the sperm is coming from and he says that women and he says that the sperm is coming from the location of the necklace of the ribs of the women not all the ribs do you have a proof okay. that this is true? We are in the year 2019. Do you have a proof that this okay. is not a stupid? Okay, okay. Hmm. Are you done? Go ahead. I'm, done, I'm waiting for it. Don't, don't worry about what I'm doing. I'm doing great. Okay, okay. So, 
the issue is that scientists did not, did not prove it. We, I, we have operated a, a, mm. an, a, a, an animal. Mm. We didn't see any sperm in the test of an animal. I don't know where you, you people get the information that Quran is wrong and scientists are right. Mm. You have evidence, even though we are debating between Christians and Muslims, not between science and Islam. Mm. Or science, scientists and Muslims. Okay. My so friend. You are living to your own God now. Mm. You are going to scientists, even oh. though some scientists mm. and archaeologists mm. discover that you are mm. doesn't yeah, mm -hmm. discover the bonds of mm. your gods. Mm. So according to you, do you have any evidence which clearly prove beyond reasonable that that you have uh, discovered this farm in the test of human being? You have evidence to prove that. Yeah, here we go. It's in the front of us. It says that the sperm produced from the testicles. So that second, secondly, women don't have a sperm. Women don't don't women women they don't have a sperm. This is a my friend. This is a good this is a good stoke. Can you prove me? Or can you prove that the scientists are wrong? Scientists they say that. Can you prove them wrong? Science is the uh, Quran is a book of science, not book of science. Ah, okay. But how uh, how come Allah He says women have a sperm and it's coming from her ribs? Yes, because there is no any evidence which proof beyond reasonable doubt that, mm -hmm. that it wasn't from his ribs. There's no proof. Here we go. It's in the front of us. Those are scientists. They are not Christians or Jews or Hindus. They are just a pure doctors speaking about what it how the sperm is coming from. Science, you are giving me theory. I don't believe in theory about science. Oh, this is theory. Ah, this is a theory. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, okay. Mm. If you are going to give me anything, mm. uh, where, like you said, we are in the, uh, the 21st century. Okay, let me ask. So, you. if you are okay, my friend, my friend, hold on, hold on. What about what about your prophet? What, what about your prophet? Sorry, can I talk? If you please yes okay. go ahead how your prophet he says if the man have orgasm first the baby will be a boy and if the women have orgasm first the baby will be a girl are you not trying to change the topic no this is about the same topic this is about the same topic this is about the same topic it's about the sperm of the man and sperm of the woman we did not change topic no we no? have to we have to conclude that why is that sperm coming from let let understand this before going to 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 next what you are trying to put it now hmm. what i'm asking okay. you is what is what is where muhammad is getting this women have those women have no sperm <laughs> do you have evidence to prove that scientifically mm, yes we have there's no scientist in the world he said that women have a sperm yes me practically i want to see women have an egg my friend a woman she have an egg not a sperm hello <laughs> Yes, you have evidence. Yes, yes, evidence. yes, we have. Go and open all, you know, you, you have, just search Google. Women, they have eggs. They don't have a sperm. You are debating Muslim for over, oh, I don't know the, the years you are doing this thing. But you are, up to now, you didn't bring the physical evidence. I really? Hearing physical? Challenging Muslim or that. Do you, you want me to, did, did you say we want me to preview a physical evidence? What does that mean? Should we bring a woman and she do masturbation in front of us and see if she have a sperm or not? What do you mean physical evidence what i mean by physical evidence is i want you to show me where scientists are physically operating human being mm. and shows where this farm okay is let me coming from. let me ask you what is your education uh, abu bakr what is your education that is none of, none of your business no no i want to know i have a driving license this is the only license i have what do you have no, I, I, I'm primary school students. You are what? Do you have to go ahead and give me the evidence. Stop wasting you are, time. You are what? You are what? You are what? Give me evidence. You are, my qualification is none of your business. What we are doing, what we are going to do here is to give me evidence. I will give you my evidence. I just showed you in the what? screen that scientists don't say that. This is against what the scientists believe. No, science, you are not a scientist. I, I am not the scientist. I showed you what scientists they say. Christianity and Islam. Stop giving me anything scientific. And if you are going to give me anything scientifically, then that is must be. Okay. okay let, let, let us go. Let us go by your prophet. Your prophet, he is saying 
that the, the, the water of the women is thin and yellow and the water of the man is white and thick and whatever of them comes first the baby will resemble him uh, uh, let me ask you there's many Muslim women they never have orgasm because the Muslim they do circumcision for them stop lying many women are undergoing orgasm many women, all of all women Mm -hmm. They're going on the uh, undergoing orgasm. Okay, did, did your prophet uh, gi give orgasm to his wives? Let us know where, where is the location of that spam. My place. friend, is, does, spam does your prophet give his orgasm to his wives? He will explain to me why his wife she said, Do women have orgasm? Read with me. This is Sahih, this is a Sahih hadith in the front of your eyes. Hmm? It says, it. Hold on, it, it says. You, you, you promise me you promise me we cannot talk in the same time you promise me right you said the promise of a man right okay. yes let me read for you um, Salim, say, uh, ask Allah messenger about a woman who sees a dream sees in her dream something like which a man sees the message of Allah he said if she sees that and has this charge then let her perform a bath um, Salama, the wife of your prophet she said oh messenger of Allah does that really happen? You are a prophet wife. She never have orgasm. CP. CB, yeah, CB. Why are you are a prophet wife asking if this is true? No, no let's finish with. I want to know first mm. what you claim that what uh, Quran said about the the sperm coming from the backbone of human beings and from the ribs of uh, females mm. is not true. You, you you said that so what I want from you is that prove to me from where that spam is coming from from uh, 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 coming from from human being I just Not showed you this I, I just showed you what the science says uh, what, what do you want to do bring you a woman and we open her private part what we would do theory, just like a Quran is a theory Abdul, Abdul, what do you want me to do exactly when you say physical evidence if there's doctors who did surgery and they study the body of a human being and they come with the conclusion they say that this is not a true now what we will do now we bring you a woman and she have masturbation in front of us don't show me any animated garbages as uh, as evidence <laughs> I will need a real evidence a physical where a human being is what do you mean physical what do you mean physical what does that mean I, I explain to me I see I am not smart like you what physical mean anything real physically that uh, you, uh, human okay being let me ask you did your prophet when he said that he brought you something physical or you are being hypocrite when Muhammad he said this is what happened why you did not ask him for the physical proof I mean you are being hypocrite here why you don't ask your prophet for the same in the same logic hey Allah give me a physical proof yeah, yeah, the reason is that we are in the 25 21st century hmm. and prophet Muhammad وسلم, was not around and scientists were still existing in this world we are in the 25th century so they are still existing. are you saying to me that Allah is not around are you saying to me Allah is not around Allah is not communicating directly to me. Hmm. So okay. No Why? Okay. No problem. Why? Uh, okay. If you all exist in the time of Muhammad, if you all exist in the time of Muhammad, are you going to ask him, give me a, a clear proof, and I will believe you? Yes. You yes, will. I'm going to ask him. Hmm. You will ask him. Yes, okay. People they ask him. People they ask him, and he could not prove anything. People they they laugh at him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do, do you want me to show you that the, the, the Arab they laugh at him, my friend? Do you want me to show you? I'm not making things up. Here we go. The Arab they say to him, You are an idiot and you are a liar. Here we go. The Quran is full of it. It's, uh, CP. We, uh, CP, 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 my friend, is that is that the Quran or not? Is that the Quran or not? All what Muhammad he said to them, they said to him, It's a lie. Do you see it? All those verses. Look how many. 625, 831. 16 24 23 83 25 5 27 68 46 17 65 15 83 13 I mean all over so your prophet he been proven by the Arab that he is a liar and he they ask him for a proof yes they ask him for a physical proof they said why his God cannot give us an, a, a, a sign give us a proof he have nothing the Quran says that Muhammad told Allah he told him that we refrain from sending miracles because of people of former generation they refuse to accept it is that true is that true that allah he refrained from sending miracles let's finish with this palm 
so that we can clear this thing, so that you should not disturb Muslim on or, or behind the network. Disturb Muslim that Muslim did not put this thing to you. Let's finish any topic that you are. You, you, you are okay, what we will do now, I showed you science. Science laugh at your prophet. You said to me, bring me physical proof. What I will do? Should I open a camera and bring a woman? She do masturbation in front of us and then we see, uh, we see where the sperm is coming from. You are being a fool now. <laughs> what physical evidence mean? If, if, if that it, it will check that it's, it's, you, you, you have to prove it prove what yes you have to prove, it. prove it scientifically prove it physically so that we can see so that we can see, we can finish this okay so you are saying to me you believe that women they have a sperm coming from the location of the necklace of their ribs say it please yes okay yes i want everybody to yes. record this and post it everywhere this is what the muslim believe and this is the science of allah thank you very much now i want to give you opportunity i want to give you opportunity as long as we are talking about science can you prove to me anything in the quran to be fit with science sorry can you prove me can you give me anything because you are the one who said can you give me physical evidence physical evidence okay can you prove to me that the quran speak about anywhere it's a scientific what about what about allah, allah he says that the sun set in the murky water what do you say about that murky water hmm. you live in nigeria have you ever seen have you have, have you ever seen in nigeria the sun sitting in murky water my friend did you see that in nigeria did you witness that physical evidence let's finish this thing mm. he, he saw the sun sun uh, setting in the moody water mm. didn't mean that he saw the sun is uh, is setting in uh, in the moody water that's not what the quran said about that mm. so read stop it. lying okay read it let's finish with this pump face are we clear on that or not about what let's finish yeah we are clear we are clear my friend we are clear you believe you believe that the women have a sperm coming from from the from the from, from the top of her uh, ribs bones i say this is a lie science says the opposite we cannot talk more okay no we are done just with this like you, yes you believe in just like what the scientists said without giving you a physical evidence we hmm. believe in our god uh, but you, do you have a physical evidence yourself do you have a physical evidence yourself no you don't so I, we don't have this is hypocrisy evidence. no we have physical evidence we have physical evidence because because the scientists they did a study on a physical evidence not in a fictions this is not a theory they cut the human being pieces yeah. they study him they are studying him for a thousand years and they come to the conclusion that this is not a true so your god is a false god thank you very much now let's go to the sun sitting in murky water did you see the sun sitting in murky water in nigeria what the scientists and the Quran give a theoretical aspect of this uh, issue of uh, spam? What the scientists and the Quran, but you did not prove it despite the fact that we are in the 25th century, in the, sorry, 21st century. You didn't prove the, you didn't provide the evidences of that. What do you mean? We are in the 21st century. I just so showed you, I, I just showed you that this is false. Okay, do you have one scientist? Okay, can, do you have one scientist agree with your God that women have a sperm coming from her ribs? This sentence is the verse of the Quran. Hmm? You didn't prove it wrong yet. I you did. Didn't it yet. I did. I, this is, I, don't, I don't even need to prove it wrong. This is silly. Everybody knows that this is stupid. Even people who go to elementary school, they knew that this is stupid. My friend, this is stupid. This is stupid. Women, women, you know, women, women. Uh, women, 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 listen, 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 listen. Women have an egg, the man have a sperm, as simple as that. You're a prophet saying that the water of the women is yellow, and that's what will make the baby resemble the parents. But the egg is not water, and the egg is not yellow. And obviously, your prophet, and obviously, your prophet, he never had sex with the women, she is a clean. Because why, why even the, the, the water of the women is yellow unless she have an infection? Why the women? Why the women? Why the women around Muhammad? They have only yellow water in their vagina unless they have inf infection. I, you know, Sophie, I, I, have, you ever, have you ever seen the egg physically? Physically, yes, what does that mean? Phys oh my God! When I mean by physically, when I see uh, uh, Barack Obama or President of Nigeria, uh, uh, that's mean what I mean by physically. Or oh, I see a standing fan. <laughs> That's what, what I mean by this <laughs> All right. So, Abdul, guys, did you lose me? 
Yes, I'm hearing you. Hold on, hold on. It's they are they are saying they are saying that the sound is not coming. Not animated garbage. Have you ever seen the act physically? Okay, no, no. Okay, my friend, let me ask you then. What about we go? What about we go to the sun sitting in the murky water? Yeah, let everybody laugh. Let everybody laugh. Here we go. Everybody is laughing. You are the one saying that this is uh, wrong. Everybody can go right now and study what science says, and people will laugh at you. This is stupid of you to say so. And you are supposed to, you are making yourself a winner and laughing. You are laughing at yourself. Everybody now is recording you. Everybody is recording you. Everybody is taking this this uh, uh, this this stupid talk you just gave to me. This surprise this people they will copy this video, post it everywhere. The Muslims Islam teach that women have a sperm coming from their top of her ribs. Thank you, thank you very much. Islam believe that the sperm coming from a backbone, not testicles. Thank you very much. Now let it let people judge. Yes. Either either they will laugh at you and your God, or they will laugh at me. Thank you very much. Now let us go to the sun set in the murky water. Why Allah is think that the sun set in the murky water? Is giving a story of a man who saw a, a, a sun setting, hmm. who saw a sun. He's okay. passing by, then he saw a sun setting. Not mean that the sun set in that moody uh, pool. Oh, okay. That's what the, the mm, are you sure? So, are you sure? Hundred percent sure. Are, okay, but so are you saying to me if somebody believes that the sun set in the murky water, he's a stupid? He is passing by and so the sun is passing like a shadow. No, 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 that's, that's, not, that's not my question. This is not my question. If somebody, my friend, it's not my question. I'm asking you, be honest with me. If somebody, he said right now that he believed the sun set in the murky water, are you willing to say he's a stupid? Well, I will ask him a question. How did you see, uh, see the sun? Uh, no, either, either this is stupid or this is smart. What do you think? Say, give me, give me the answer. Either you say to me, this I is mean, stupid. I will ask a confirmation of that from him before I read him. Okay, I That's confirm I you. Let us say, let us say it is me. Okay, let us, it's me, it's me. I say to you, the sun set in the murky water. What do you say to me? I believe that okay. it's sun in the murky water. What do you say to me? I will ask you a question. Hmm. Based on my knowledge, I'm hmm. seeing this uh, sun uh, setting on the uh, west. So how comes you say the sun is as uh, setting in the moody okay. pools? Okay, <clears throat> I say I saw it setting there. What you will do now? Well, I will still ask you a question. Mm. But you will not say I am being stupid or crazy? No, no. Mm. I will ask you, is it you saw the shadow of the sun setting or the sun really Set on the pool. I saw That's it really. I, I saw it really, really sitting in the in the pool. I saw it, really. The Quran did say that. Mm. According to Quran, the so so you are saying to me, whoever saying that is wrong. Shadow of the sun setting in the moody okay, pool. Okay, so you are saying to me this is wrong. If somebody believe that it's sitting in the muddy pool, is wrong. You did not understand the Quran. Why well, you wanna give me? Why well, you don't wanna give me a clear answer? Just tell me. Tell me the one who believe. If somebody believe that the sun set in a muddy pool or murky water is wrong, say it. No, it's it's shadow of the sun. I'm not talking about the shadow now. I'm not talking about the shadow. What shadow? Did I say the word shadow? What are you giving me? Brain? I am saying to you, why you are not willing to say to me, whoever believe that the sun set in a muddy pool or muddy water is wrong, say it. Is the shadow shadow of the I, did, I did not mention the shadow. Do you see the word shadow, you idiot? What's wrong with you? Did I say the word shadow? Why you are putting the word shadow there? What shadow? And since one shadow can go inside the water, are you crazy? I'm asking you, I'm asking you if somebody believed that the sun set in the murky water physically, is he stupid or not? He is not. He's not because stupid. He is, he is not. Yes, he's not stupid. Is setting in the, the shadow of the sun is setting in the mood. Stop That's and search in words. There is no shadow. Who who is the where do you get the word shadow from? Prove me wrong if it is not what I've said. Okay, prove show me. me no, you prove me wrong. Show me where it says shadow. Here we go. I'm listening to you. Where it says the shadow. Because if in the real in the physical senses, there is no way a sun can uh, can, can so you are saying because the Quran does not make sense, you have to insert the word shadow there, right? You know the meaning of pool. What pool? No, there's no pool there. It doesn't say pool. <laughs> Where is the word pool? Okay, shadow. Shadow what? Where is the word shadow? Show me the word shadow in the Quran. <laughs> See, do you know this? The 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 the, the la, how the largest the sun is. Abdul, show me the word shadow in the Quran. 
a fool, a moody fool can take a, a song. Show me the shadow word in the Quran. Does your God Allah say the word shadow? You Christian claim that you have the God, the Holy Spirit in you. There we go. That is let me let me get you busted. It was your prophet. Hold on. Let it is your prophet. It is your prophet who explained this verse, and obviously he got you busted. And now you will cry and you will say, I don't believe my prophet no more. Here we go. You're a prophet. All done. You're a prophet is the one. You're a prophet is the one who said that the sun set in the murky water. Here we go. Read with me. Read with me and laugh. I was sitting behind the message of Allah. Shut up. I was sitting behind the message of Allah who was riding a donkey while the sun was sitting. I asked, he asked, do you know where this set? I replied, Allah and his apostle knows best. He said, it's set in a spring of warm water. ZB. 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 Are you now going to admit that your prophet is being an idiot? You are the one who said to me, the Quran does not say that. You are the one who said to me, Quran doesn't say so. You are the one who reject this idea. You are the one who said this is cannot be true physically, not a true. This is, must be the shadow. But you're a prophet is the one who said the sun set in the murky water. Explain to us. I'm starting to question. Can the murky water hold a sun? Answer. Yes or no? Answer. Did your prophet say no? Yes or no? <laughs> your problem is that I asked you one uh, uh, yes, uh, sorry, months before on the... the but, 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 did your prophet say the sun set in a muddy water? Yes or no? You did you <laughs> why are changing topic? Did your prophet say the sun would sleep and go down inside the muddy water? Yes or no? The prophet, the prophet, yeah, the prophet is the prophet that made uh, made that story. Yes, the prophet made that story. <laughs> so the story is talking about who. Don't tell me talking about who Muhammad he said the son he asked the guy he said to him do you know where the sun set the guy he said Allah and his apostle know best Muhammad he continues saying apostle he said that it set in a spring of warm water and it's in the front of you so so what's your problem with that what do you mean what's my problem you are the one who said to me this is wrong you are the one who said to me this is wrong it must be the shadow not the sun my questions to you. My question, my question, my question, brother and sister. My question. My name is Abu Bakr Bali Brother, and I have a big mouth, and I cannot answer a question. And my question answered here. How you're a prophet? He says such a thing, and you are the one who said to me this is wrong. You are the one who said this is wrong. Cannot be true. It cannot be physically. It is impossible. You are the one who said that clearly, and now your prophet is getting busted by your help. Thank you very much. I wonder how many Muslims will leave Islam in the, from Nigeria now because of you. <laughs> ZB. So are you going to answer ZB? Can you answer, please? ZB, answer. I have already answered you. No, you're but not. You said this is wrong. You said this is wrong. You're a prophet. He still says that the same as in the Quran. Bring another topic. Or should I ask you a question? Take take a hike. ZB. ZB, ZB, ZB. Z B Z B Z B This is what this is the stupidity of this cult. Either you answer or don't call me back. Are you going to answer? Are you going to answer? Hello? Are you going to answer? Answer what? I, have I showed you why you are a prophet. He said such a stupid thing, and you are the one who admit that this is wrong. You said that already. Why you are a prophet saying such a thing? How he can be a prophet yet he says something stupid according to you? You are the one who said this is wrong. Cannot be true. So, ZB. ZB. What I want to prove with that? What I want to prove to that? I ask why you, why you are changing the topic. You, did you say to me that this is wrong? You said that, and now you're a prophet saying exactly what is wrong. So are you willing to say, stay as a man, keep your words, and say Muhammad here is wrong? The debate between Christians. Debate and debate. Get lost. Don't call me again. You are not a brave enough to say it. Already you say it. Already who cares?
ZB. <laughs> they are excited. I want every one of you to download this video and share it around, especially if you are from Nigeria. This is what Islam is about. A bunch of dumbest, stupid, mad people. How in the world a human being believe in a garbage like this? This is religion and this is God. God saying that. And they lie. They say, oh, he saw it appear, look like it. It does not appear. It was like if it's a this is this is a lie. Your prophet even explained it. You see, the, the, the nice thing about Muhammad, he cannot stop doing poo poo. Muhammad, he have to keep talking, and the more he talk, he get Islam busted. I'm very grateful for Muhammad. Very beautiful prophet. Let us see this guy. Maybe he's a Muslim. Hello. Hello. Yes, Abdul. How are you? Um, I'm okay. How are you? All right. So you are a Muslim, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, I am. Okay. What do you think about our topic? We say that the science of the Quran prove Allah to be false. Okay. Well, um, well, first of all, um, we know that the Quran is in Arabic. Oh, really? I thought it's in yes, English. Uh, okay. Okay. That's the news for me. Okay. And I noticed that you use only the tr the known translation of the Quran and the Hadith. Mm, should I use uh, should, should I use a known translation according to you? Uh, well, I think that when you spot a mistake, you should be able to um, correct it. Mm. And did you find the mistake uh, yourself? Uh, well, like you know, sometimes translations make mistakes, but mm. you don't even try to correct it. Mm. So um, before we start, mm. can I test you and see if you have extensive knowledge of Arabic? I know I cannot take test, please, because I'm very weak. What about we test Allah? What do you think? Uh, what? What about we test Allah? Do Allah have extensive knowledge in Arabic? Uh, yeah, I think he okay. does. Do you speak Arabic sure. yourself? Do you speak Arabic yourself? Well, I understand Arabic, but you know. Uh, so how you can test me in Arabic if you don't know? How you can how you can test me in uh, Arabic if you do not know Arabic, my friend? I I understand Arabic. Okay, I but mean, how you can I, how you can test I, me in Arabic if you are not a person who speak Arabic? This is funny. Um, I can you know Google. Um, ah, okay. Nice to Look meet you, up, Google. Okay, let, let let us go to the topic. How you can prove no, to me, my friend? No, no, no. Uh, can can you can I please test you? First. Okay, go ahead. I mean, you, go ahead. Okay, you may be able to speak Arabic, mm. but it can mean that you only speak, you know, Arabic as a layman and wouldn't mm. understand their cla classical Arabic or the Quranic. Okay, I, I will help you. I speak as a layman. Now, what that will do to you? Well, um, I'm going to mention ten words in Arabic, mm. and I will give you four seconds to tell me what the meanings of the words. No, no, are. no, no. I refuse. This, this is very hard for me. Can you make it uh, uh, eleven? 11 because I like odd numbers Okay, fine 11. Okay. Well, let me ask you you are going to ask me Arabic words. Do you know how to read Arabic? Um, I do Do you know how to read Arabic? Yes Okay, can you read for okay, me? Can this I, is can, the, can you can you read for me? What is in the screen? No, no can I test you first mm -hmm. and then um, I'll do it. But what know. I will do now, what What if I am from China, what I will do? What? Are you saying to me that if somebody is from China, he do not know Arabic, he cannot be a Muslim? <sighs> well, this is not about in a, any Chinese people, mm. you know, we're, we're talking about you. You? Can I please? Please. 
mention those three words. I mean, ten words. Why only ten? What about you go and we, we take the whole Quran? Okay, eleven. Eleven words. No, no, no. I, I, no, I want to do this. I want you to choose for me a chapter in the Quran, all of it, and we go word by word. What do you say? Now, let's just use the ten words. No, no, no. I don't I like ten words. I like. I like you to test me in ten thousand so words. Listen, 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 silly. Listen, silly. Listen, 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 silly. Listen, silly. I am an Arab. Do you are you stupid or not? Are you stupid or are you stupid or what? I am an Arab. Uh, I don't think you're stupid, but okay. You know, so don't don't do, do this silly. You are not in a place to examine me in my Arabic. At least let somebody oh, who speak yes, Arabic I to call am. me. You use you know Arabic, you know in your in your videos, but I don't even know if you you know if you. Really I don't care if you know Arabic. or not, donkey. Who care? Get lost. I use Arabic in my videos. What do you mean I use Arabic in my videos? I read the Arabic in front of you and I explain and I translate. Don't be a stupid donkey. I will test you with 10 words in Arabic. Garbage in, garbage out. Either you go and you say to me, here we go. I will give you a chapter in the Quran translated, not 10, not 10 words. Stupidity. A person who was born in the Middle East, he spent most of his life in the Middle East, and you are going to examine him in Arabic, you donkey? At least let somebody in Arab to call me and do that. I mean, how stupid you are. Who is next? You don't even know how to read them. So what is my first language, guys? <laughs> anyway. Maybe we have a Muslim here. Let us see. His internet is weak. Next. Hello? Hello. Here we go. Should, should, I, should, should I translate what he said to you in Arabic? He said to me, his mother vagina, his mother vagina. Here we go. I speak Arabic. A Muslim, he cannot answer me. He called me and he says, your mother vagina, your mother vagina. Islam. Welcome to Islam. Filthy cult. Garbage in. Garbage out. Hello? 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 Yes. Yes, so I I asked uh, someone about this uh, verse that you are discussing on the screen right now, yes? Okay. And he uh, uh, he interpreted as in uh, in the way that uh, the prophet, he said he found it, as in he perceived the sun to be setting in, uh, in the water, in a body of water. Hmm. But the one who said that, it is Allah not even the prophet secondly here muhammad he confirmed that he says he is the one who asked the other guy do you know where this goes where this one said he said yeah. allah and his apostle yeah. knows best so they are you see here they are acknowledging the knowledge of allah with the knowledge of muhammad so muhammad he don't speak of himself he speak okay, by the yes, knowledge yes, of yes. allah so then he said 
it's set in a spring of more warm water this is exactly as the Quran says so the Muslim they lie to us they say oh this is how it looked like but even if you go in the Quran it says it clearly this is not how it looked like it the one who is reporting the story is Allah himself it was Allah who is talking not the guy who is going there and look what it says here too to make it more clear and more horrible it says enter when he reached the sitting place of the Sun there is a sitting place for the Sun so the Quran teach that there is a place where the Sun sit is not that clear for you yes but uh... I'm talking about the the language used because it's my friend. It's there's nothing. It's called language use. It's very clear. It says So he he uh, he reached the sitting place of the sun. That statement alone proved Muhammad and Islam to be false because sitting place of the sun does not exist. The sun set where you live and where I live. Correct. Yes, yes. So I do not need uh, to go anywhere. So what does that mean until he reached the sitting place of the sun? That's stupid. So when he said the sitting place, it's meaning clearly that there is a place where the sun set. They they could be talking visually. They could be no 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 no. He is telling the journey of this guy. He is telling the journey, and then the journey continue, and he changed direction. He take the opposite direction. Read with me carefully. Then he says. Then he follow another way. And then enter when he comes to the rising place of the sun, and you will notice he arrived to the place where the sun rise, and next to it he found it, he found he found it rising on people whom Allah has provided no shelter. So he found in that location where the sun rise such a people. Same for the story of the sunset. It says. Read it with me carefully. Until he reached the sitting place of the sun, he found it sitting in a spring of murky water and he found near it. Do you see it? A people. Do you see it? Yes. He found near what? Near what the sun set. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yes, it's, it's funny, but. It's funny translation but uh, my friend this is not a translation this is not translation I don't care about translation Arabic is my first language and we can go and read the interpretation of the scholars yeah, sorry, not, not the translation but uh, if you go to the beach and you see the Sun setting then this is not you, my you problem my friend no, no 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 you see Muhammad he is copying from a book it's called Zul Qurnayn the man with the two horn written by a Syrian author it's a fiction book about a real person he is Alexander the Great and Muhammad here is copying that story and he put it in his book now everybody when I try to cover the ass of Allah says oh this is how it appear but Allah is the one is talking Allah is the one is reporting so if Allah says it appeared to him then I will say this is what it says but as you see nowhere it says that you see here it says and they ask you about the Quran I shall recite to you something of his history. Who is the one who's talking? Uh, Allah. Allah. That's it. So it's not the guy who said I saw it, and, and you know what I mean. If the guy he said I saw it there, then I would say, okay, the guy he made a mistake. He thought this, blah blah blah. But the Quran is reporting a story and the fact about this person. Muhammad he was not in the time of this man. So they are asking you to examine you. And because they're examining Muhammad, Allah He decided to help Muhammad and to tell Muhammad things nobody knows. What is the things nobody knows? That he found where the sun set, and he found where the sun rise, and he found next to it people who live there. And he described even the people what he did with them. And you will see here, after that, there's a conversation between this guy and Allah. Here, when he arrived where the sun uh, the sitting place of the sun he said as for him as a disbeliever in the oneness of Allah who does wrong we shall punish him and he will be brought back into the, his Lord who will punish him but as for the one who believe in Allah etc then record says and then he follow another word it's a place and then you will see how the conversation run 
uh, it says here and shall speak into him mild words as our instructions so Allah is talking to this man the one is guided by Allah this is why he says we we gave him you know inna makkanna lahu fil ard verily we establish him on earth and we gave him the means of everything so Allah here reclaimed that this is a prophet of God which means he's a prophet of him he is the one who sent him he is the one who gave him victory and now he described his journey doing jihad for Allah then he arrived the story did not even stop okay, yes, but going back to the, the the verse of the of the sun setting it isn't the story is according to the Karnain, right no according to Allah where is the Quran talking now do you see it says until when he reached if the Quran is speaking he will say until I reached mm. Mm. my friend let us be smart and you are smarter than this let them not to fool you it's clearly Allah is still reporting still Allah talking actually the whole story here Allah is talking until we arrive there then it's still Allah actually the whole story Allah is talking then Allah he report and he is the one is talking then he report what happened between him and those guys who they are suffering from the people of Magog and Magog so Allah reporting what she said what they said to him what he said to them but the story here all of it is about Allah saying and when he came to rising place of the Sun and when he came to the sitting place of the Sun he found that he found it do you see he found it Mm, yes, he didn't say I found it. Allah is saying he's stating a fact when I say uh, uh, Muhammad he entered the house and he found his house in fire That's mean I am the one stating that fact It's a fact Correct Yes, yes, so it cannot be he thought he found it He did not he did not say he thought it is he found it and who is the one saying he found it Allah so how Allah yes, report but when we say found we can, can it not be meaning like cannot it can be the meaning in the way in which uh it, the way which the way in which do Karnain saw it right? my friend my friend why why want to be silly here I mean uh, with my respect to you isn't it Muhammad he said how he found it so what we will do with Muhammad why Muhammad here he is not talking about the Quran. He's talking about the sun in his time, correct? Or oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay, so here we go. He is he is riding his donkey with a, with his with his friend, and he said to him, "Where the sun goes? Do you know where the sun set?" The guy he said, "Allah and his apostle know best." He said it goes and set in a spring of murky water. So let us say that as Quran, he assumed that this is where it set. Muhammad he assumed too. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's more, okay. Thank it's you, my friend. Lot, yeah. You know, we don't want to waste our time in in in, uh, in things. Is it clear? They try to to cover and to protect Muhammad to be a false prophet by fabricating things is not in the Quran. As simple as that. Thank you for calling. Do we have any Muslim would like to call? What happened to Tafsir? We have we have Abbas. He want Tafsir. Guys, should we call Abbas? Shall we call Abbas? Abbas saying, what happened to Tafsir? Abbas, let me call you. <laughs> you will not answer Abbas? Hello? Okay, Abbas, did you say to me in text what about tafsir? Mm, yeah, right. Okay, so, do, so do you accept the tafsir? Only you call tafsir very quickly all the time. Okay, somehow. do you accept the tafsir? Yes or no? Go to mention tafsir, man. What's happening? Okay, do you ex I'm asking you, do you accept tafsir? Well, let's see what the tafsir says, man. You know my view, yeah, how I take okay. it. But I think you take up tafsir all the time, but somehow okay. you become... You become professor suddenly. You forgot okay. about it. But no, absolutely no. Okay. Okay. Here we go. This is the tafsir in front of us. Read it. Mm -hmm. This is the tafsir. And this is the tafsir. This is the tafsir of the cousin of the Prophet, the only one Muhammad he named him to be 
a person who can explain the Quran. I was doing something. Yeah, go on. Read the tafsir for me. Read it. I'm sorry. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan, Tafsir Ibn Abbas. And your name is Abbas. Tafsir Ibn Abbas, okay. Hmm. Yeah, my name is Abbas. Okay, okay read, it for, read it for us. Yeah, read it for me. You read it, go ahead. It's in front of you. I'm not on the screen, I'm just... Um... Oh, you are driving now. No, I am at home. I was oh, lying okay. down. I was, I was Tell when he reached the sitting place of the sun, where the sun set, he found it sitting in the muddy water, a black, muddy... And a stinking spring. It's also said that this is mean a hot spring, and he found people there about those people here. This believer, we said, Oh, his name, we inspired him either punish, either kill them until they accept to believe that there is no deity except Allah. Now, what do you say? No, no, explain where did he explain the sun sunsets? In the water or not get lost <laughs> explain i mean what more explain if, the, if this is the interpretation i need to explain the interpretation guys explain this is the interpretation if the interpretation cannot explain it to you donkey what i can do explain the explanation so why you call it explanation and why you ask me to show you the explanation the Abdul now he want me to explain the explanation. Have you ever heard certified donkeys more than those people? It says a blackened, muddy, stinking spring. He found it in blackened, muddy, stinking, stinking spring. Explain it to me. So why you told it? Why you call this book explanation? And now, if I explain it to you, do you accept my explanation? And how about what about your prophet? Because your prophet, he cannot. Here we go. Why you are calling me back? Ibn Kathir. Hmm. Oh, you like only Ibn Kathir? You like Ibn Kathir? Have you, because you know Ibn Kathir explained much more this one he did well Ibn Kathir he came more than 800 years after Muhammad and he tried to defend the Quran no, right Ibn Kathir is not good enough for you yes he's not okay do you, hold on hold do you accept Ibn Kathir do you accept do you accept Ibn Kathir I want you to say yes I want you to, to promise me that whatever Ibn Kathir he says you accept about the chapter of 18 say yes no no chapter eight. don't say chapter eight. no 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 about all everything there do you accept Ibn Kathir yes or no now, Christian princes, do you accept Ibn Kathir? Say yes. I challenge, I challenge you in front of everybody to say I accept Ibn Kathir. Yes or no? He want to make me agreement and get lost. Either you say I accept him to be my scholar to teach me what the Quran is saying, or you don't tell me. Read Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir will torture you, you donkey. And you're a prophet. He is better than Ibn Kathir. Or Ibn Kathir is better than your prophet. If you're a prophet saying where the sun set, are you insulting your prophet? Are you saying that we listen to Ibn Kathir, we don't we ignore what Muhammad said? Thank you very much. I show him what his prophet said, not what the Christian prince said, what Ibn Kathir said, not Ibn Abbas said. This is your prophet. And not only that. Muhammad, he get himself busted in many places. Muhammad, he cannot stop talking about the sun where the sun goes. And let us explain why Muhammad, he thinks the sun sits in the murky water. Read carefully with me. Muhammad he explained the sun movement every day. Are you going to me, Ibn? Are you going to say to me, Ibn Kathir? He knew better than your prophet. This is not metaphorically. This is physically. 
Allah apostles ask me at the sunset do you know where the Sun goes at the time of the sunset between two brackets I replied Allah and his apostle know better he said it goes I eat travel so your stupid prophet believe that the sunset is the Sun is going Till it's prostrate itself under the throne of Allah. Hold on. Where is the throne of Allah? Somebody will say to me, what is there's no water here. Let me show you how the water work. The throne of Allah is above the water. This is why. Muhammad said the sun set under the throne of Allah do you see it there's a water in the sky there's a water in the sky where a throne of Allah is above the water and I challenge any Muslim to say to me this is not true and as you see it says in front of us because here, if this is not a water in the in the sky, that will be a, a water in the earth. So before he created anything, the throne was above the water, but there's nothing to create yet created. Right? If we go in the hadith, we will find the following. Muhammad he said فمرت بهم سحابة فنظر إليها فقال ما تسمون هذه قالوا السحابة قال والمزنة the people didn't know what is Muhammad he, he's, a, he's a mad man he create words and then they said to him what muzin what is that he said the muzin and he said uh, an, uh, 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 an anan Abu Dawood said, I am not quite confident about the word Anan. He asked, do you know the distance between the heaven and the earth? They replied, we do not know for sure. You are the one who knows. He then said, the distance between them is 71, 72, 73. He's not sure. Like 71. It's like Mimi, Mimi uh, Hijab. You know, 71, 70. 4,000 years, not a single Jew worship and instructed to worship and one except God. Hmm? 4,000 years then he says and the heaven which is above is similar distance go until count it seven heavens above the seven heaven there is a sea do you see it who's next Who is next? I am the Christian prince and none of you dare to debate me. I crush you. I take you for a snack. I actually am not debating Muslims. I'm just a spanking. So they try to fabricate to change the meaning, but they cannot because their prophet, which I'm very thankful for him, he keep talking. And the more he talk, the more he got Islam busted. Hmm? Anyway, we have enough uh, today. We are already here for three hours. No, almost two hours and a half. I want people to download the videos, please, this video, especially the guy from Nigeria. This guy, he have a big mouth. He insulted Christianity left and right, and he think that he is a person who knows. Let everybody, the same as the guy from Nigeria who called himself Ustaz. Do you remember the guy, the Ustaz? Hmm? Ustaz, he's an Ustaz. All of them, they are Ustaz. In fact, they are certified donkeys. And when they try to defend their religion, they expose it. And this is why I'm very thankful for the exposure of Islam by the help of the Muslims. 
if you like to learn more about the cult of Islam I advise you to get my books you can search Amazon in your country so you can get a free shipping most of them Amazon Germany Amazon France Amazon England Amazon USA whatever here we don't talk here we prove what we speak of we don't make speeches they do we don't here we got Islam tortured exposed we make it like fine sand we destroy it and then we turn the fan on and the sand all over Islam is the most stupid cult and anyone can destroy it easy but my friend you have to have knowledge and you have to be strong when you debate Muslim don't make them turn away from the topic they are a coward and they will try to switch the topic in the speed of light you notice always when you talk to a Muslim you talk about potato right away he starts speaking about concrete they make you fill into a trap and the purpose of that trap is to divert you from your topic don't let them do that watch my videos and see how I enforce the conversation and the reason I enforce it because those people they are they don't speak like adults they speak like kids and when they ask you to read about anything and they say I want you to read this scholar either he accept the scholar or he don't get him busted right away do you accept that scholar in a second you will see he changed his mind he don't want to accept him he accept him only in that thing but who care we prove him to be a liar even your scholar because this is against the Quran and this is against the Prophet of Islam saying so don't let them play you they will try and you can't play with me you better do better next time thank you guys for being here may the Lord bless you and I will see you soon again Christ is Lord Islam is false and don't forget to subscribe share and take care all of you bye bye